Memento Mori Stories, a podcast that reminds us that we will die and that celebrates the deeply personal and sometimes whimsical ways we create to remember death and cherish life. How we bridge the gap, the sometimes deep, painful, and soul-searching gap between life and death. How we remember those we have loved, the things we keep, the phrases we use, the foods we prepare, the places we hold dear. This is your invitation to listen generously to one such story, a Memento Mori story. I never had a grandmother, but I did have an Annie T. Annie T was the closest to my grandmother I would ever have. She was uh, my grandfather's sister. Every childhood summer, I would pile into the car with my family to visit her. It, it would take almost four hours to get to the house, and uh, riding in the car, all seven of us often sang songs and played the alphabet game to pass the time. We often asked the question, are we there yet? When we finally got to NET's, we were all thrilled to be out of the car and into the arms of the older generation. It was just so safe at her house. Annie T. would greet us with a warm plate of homemade cookies. She was the best hostess. The old Victorian house would flood with worry-free laughter. There was nothing more inviting than stepping into the house and feeling the sweet, buttery aroma wrap around us like a hug. The cookies were huge and soft and puffy, nothing like the kind I had ever eaten from a store. Years later, Annie T. died. Her death was the first in my family that I had experienced. It was a huge loss for me. But one night, Annie T. came to me in a dream. She was in her kitchen. She smiled and looked up and said, everything's going to be all right. And when I woke up, I I had this amazing sense of peace. Shortly after that, my family was remembering her welcoming cookies I sought out her cookie recipe so that I could recreate that warmth for my family, her warmth. Now that I'm older, I still make her cookies for my family, the church family, community events, and friends. seems like I make them for everybody. Occasionally, I change the flavoring and the shape. Sometimes I even frost them. Every time I make her welcoming cookies, I think of any tea and how she made me feel at home. It feels good to do the same for others. Thanks for listening. Compassion and listening are so valuable in bringing healing to our lives after loss. So, how about you? Do you have a story about something that reminds you of a special someone, a beloved pet, an event, or a place that brings comfort? Please contact Memento Mori Stories through this podcast or our Facebook or Instagram pages. I would love to hear from you.